TechTales 109, a client called me last week with this issue. She was a little bit hesitant to ask me about it and it came out that she was kind of a little nervous that it was going to be something simple and that she's going to feel silly for having asked the question. Not the case at all. I, it actually stumped me. I did not find the right solution, but I gave her a workaround for it and I think we're going to probably just leave it at that. I still have an idea of, of what I would do next to try to figure it out. And it appears to be a problem that a lot of people are having, some number of people, because it turns up in a Google search, but not the correct answer. So I'm going to start by showing you how it's supposed to work. This is an Excel issue. And what happens over here, I have a, a new Excel worksheet. If you come down to the Sheet tab and click the right mouse button, you should get this context menu. And that's the problem. She clicks that, right clicks that, and she does not get the context menu. She was calling about a particular worksheet. I'm going to add some additional sheets here. She routinely adds sheets and takes away sheets. So she wants to be able to right click and delete a sheet. When she first told me the problem, she said she can't delete a, a sheet is the way that she described it. And some of the people when they're searching on the internet for that, that's the verbiage they're using. And that's the wrong verbiage to use in this case because the problem is not that you can't delete a sheet. The symptom is that right click on the tabs for sheets does not get a context menu. There's other things on this menu besides delete. So it's not that you can't delete the sheet, it's just that the context menu doesn't appear. Now her, her right click works everywhere else and she found no other symptoms in Excel and she thinks this problem has existed ever since she got her new computer, which is a computer that I set up in, and installed. Um, she, she seems like she's had it for almost a year. And I'm a little bit baffled and, and ill at ease that she hasn't asked about it, but I, I think it just didn't cause that much grief to her. So anyway, I did some Google searching for it while I was on the phone with her and connected remotely and I said, hey, we're not making good progress with this. I should, I, we should hang up, I'll disconnect and you get back to your work and I'll do a little research on the subject. I'm going to bring up a Google Chrome incognito window because I want to do a Google search and I want you to have assurance that this Google search is not influenced by what I have searched for before on this computer. So Excel, right click, sheet. Now I start typing sheet, right click, sheet not working. Here it is, Excel, right click on sheet tab, not working. That's exactly what we have going on. Because it shows up in search suggestions, that means there's a significant number of people around the world typing in that precise search term. When you click on that, it gets Microsoft or answers.microsoft.com. Now I've, I've read through these and basically they, they, they give some very just fundamental explanations or help about right clicking. And there is a solution in here in here about making an alteration to VBA code in each Excel worksheet, but none of the people asking the question report that, yes, that fixed it. So there was, there was no fix down here. Why can't I right click on a sheet in Excel? So this also is close to the right wording. It doesn't have the word tab, but anyway, I've looked through these. Yeah, this is the one or visual basic for VBA, Visual Basic for Applications. They do some editing in there. And actually this one, when you go into it, it's, it's, I think this one is the one that's actually reversed. How to disable right click on a sheet. This is telling you how to turn it off. Now there's one of the, one of the options in here about deleting a XLB file. I have not actually tried that one yet. It might work. But it, it's a little, I'm a little hard pressed to imagine how that got in place on a, on a new computer.
But anyway, I'm just going to get right to the, I, yeah, right to it. Too late, Doug. You're already too long. <laughs> so in the workaround I gave her is, is you can't right click down here. So just come up to home so that you have the home button bar and then come down here to cells. It took me a little while to find this because why would you think deleting a sheet, you would go to cells? the cells section. So anyway, on this drop down menu, there's an option here to delete a sheet. In the bottom left corner, you can see sheet four. When I click on that, that sheet goes away. And then on the format menu gives you an option to rename a sheet or move or copy a sheet. So it's not that the worksheet was any kind of restricted or any kind of security settings or something is disabled. When she first brought this to my attention, it was a specific worksheet that she was working on. And at that point in time, it could have been something damaged about that worksheet. And that's where my thinking was going. So pretty quickly, I went to file new. We started a new worksheet and found the symptom existed even there. She's already checked with the other people in her office. They don't have this problem and they have the exact same model computer that she has installed within a few months, either way of, of her installation. So let's see, I have a actually have this on video. So this is this is her computer right here. Now it, I, I need to point out, notice mm -hmm. when I flip my mouse over sheet number two there, it turns bold. The word sheet turns bold. I haven't done any clicking. If I right click, then you see that green underline. And that's when the menu pops up. So remember that underline, that green underline there, because we're going to see that here. So this is actually a video of me connected to her computer. I have her name in the upper right corner blurred out. So I'm clicking the play button and I'm going to try to narrate it, move my mouse out of the way. So it is playing right now and I move the mouse down to the plus sign. I'm going to add a couple more sheets. Notice that green underline is there for each new sheet I add. That's normal behavior, even when it's working properly. Now here the sheet is bolded. I try to right click. There's the right click and you have that underline and there's no context menu. This was after I had fussed with it for a while and I figured it out. Okay, click on home, then come over here to the cells section, click on delete, and then you can delete sheet and then uh, back up to that format menu in a moment and show that you can rename the sheet. And that's a recording. I don't know when it's going to get there. Are you going to go there? There it goes right up there to the format menu. Ah, uh, the delete menu first. Okay, really? There. There you go. That. Click on that. Click on that. Okay, <laughs> so there's rename sheet, move copy sheet, but I already showed you that. So there we go. So that was... That, that's still an open issue actually. So if I label this right, title it right, and put some stuff in the description, there may be other people finding this YouTube video because they're having the same problem. When I try, I knew there must be some way on the menus to do those sheet commands. It took me a while to find it because it's just not intuitive for it to be there. So that's it. I hope this has been useful. Have a great day. Catch you later. Goodbye.